Hey everyone, I am Sue and welcome to Sue Overa Designs, where I bring you fast, fun, and adorable projects. In today's video, I'm giving you a studio tour of the behind the scenes of what goes on at Sue Overa Designs. So let's get started. Come on in, I wanna show you my studio. So over here is where my cutting table is. This is also a wonderful storage area and you'll notice that I use the top of my cutting table quite a bit. I store my embroidery unit on here and a few other notions, all of my primary rulers. And you can even see that my primary rulers are hung up on the wall as well. I even have my Cricut Easy Press 2 right here so that I can just pop it up and start using it. Now I get asked a lot where I store things because I am in a, a bigger area than I was before, but I'm still in a smaller space. So down here is where I keep all my stabilizers, all my extra cutting mats, all of my embroidery notions, manuals, templates, everything. It's all pretty much stored down here. I even have my light boxes, my wafer one and my wafer two from Daylight Company. So all that is stored under here and it's easy for me to get a hold of. I've even got my power cords ready to go for my wafer light boxes. Now, getting up here, and when I actually do have a lot of cutting to do, I take the whole cutting table and I swoosh it out into the living room area, pop it up, and then I can get going. And I have a nice area right here where I can just like walk through and it's no big deal. So now I have to tell you all, you know we've got Suki Sews coming very soon, and this is going to be the primary filming location for that. Bear and I spent a lot of time putting this together. We've got the bees, because of course I'm Suki B. We found these really great scissors at a Party City store, and we spray painted them to kind of match the decor. I mean, all the little things were just found in different places. We found these at like Home Goods and Tuesday morning. And then Heidi made this little thing for me because it's a bee, but it's also like, oh, oh like what? Narwhal. Narwhal. <laughs> <laughs> so, but it's really cute, you know? And then we've even got like our sew sign up here. So this will be the primary location that you'll see me film for Suki Sews. And this is the beautiful machine that we'll be using. And it's still hidden in the box right now, but stay tuned. I even just recently got a Laura Star and I'm going to be doing a video on that. So. Just, you know, hold on and I'll give you all the details on this incredible machine. So now I'm gonna give you a little tour of where I store my thread. I get asked all the time, how do you store your thread? Thread's really a delicate item. You wanna make sure that you keep it out of the sunlight and away from dust. And here in Florida, we have sunlight and dust everywhere. So I actually keep it in the hallway closet. You can see I've got my linens here. <laughs> but this is where I keep all my thread. The top section is all my embroidery and my sewing thread. And it's not perfectly pretty. Some of them are wrapped. And one day, I want to get all these wrapped. But they are color coordinated. So everything is organized that way. Down here is where I keep all my serger threads. These are the serger threads that are, let me see if I can find them. Yeah, there you go. You can see like some of the decorative colors and types of threads. And then these are all my primary serger threads here. So again, it is really important to keep your threads protected from sunlight and dust. So now on to the main area of where I do my creating. When we were setting up the studio, Bear and I spent, again, a lot of time. We went to a lot of antique shops and thrift shops um, looking for different things and we found a really beautiful way to have a nice set but also have it functional. So I mean I do use these fabrics, I do pick up my scissors, these are a few antique sewing notions that I've collected over the years. It's like a little tape measure and some seam hem tape and just some different things that people have given me. My sister-in-law gave me this little set of nesting dolls and then my friend Chris gave me this really beautiful picture. And you can kind of just see that most everything that's up here has had some thought to it. And then all I can say is that Bear and I just curate it. And every once in a while, I'll see him in here and he'll like move things around and then I'll do it. And I think it's just nice to kind of keep it fresh. And every once in a while, we'll add new things. So like this is my little thing when we reached uh, 10,000 subscribers. And then this is one of the new projects that we've come out with this year. And then this was a Christmas gift, a little music box. It had, it had a little piece of jewelry inside it from my sweet love. And then down to here is real true functional 
products. We've got my serger, we've got my presser feet for my Bernina. We've also got a scissor storage. I got this little scissor storage thing. Truly, I don't even know what it's really for. I think, I don't really know what it's for, but I found it at the dollar, at the uh, at a thrift store for a dollar, painted it, and I keep some scissors in there. And, you know, like everything here has meaning to me. I mean, like my little jar of fabric and some of the projects that I've made. This actually was my grandmother's sewing box right here. This was truly my grandmother's sewing box. And then this was something that my grandmother made and keep, you know, had like her sewing manual in for her sewing machine. So I keep it right there. I don't use this because it's quite old and I don't want it to get hurt. And I even have, this has nothing to do with sewing, but I even have a little metronome that was my father's. So like I said, some of this stuff up here has a lot of meaning and, uh, and it, if nothing else, it's definitely decorative. Now, even up to the sign, <laughs> we had fun like laying out this sign. We wanted to add something up here and we talked about adding my name and then, you know, voila, we came up with the, the idea of adding the word create because that's really what a sewing studio or wherever your sewing space is, it's a place where you can relax and just create. So I also get a lot of questions about what's in my drawers. <laughs> so um, truly, I'm a very organized person, but I don't spend a lot of money organizing. I went to the dollar store and I got these little containers. There were like, I think there were three for a dollar and I just kind of keep them organized. And then I also got these little containers for all my presser feet. So I keep all my Bonina presser feet either here or in the little box that came with the machine. And then I'm really big about organizing my notions too. Everything has a place, even if it's like I said, just this little containers from the dollar store. I like to keep everything in bags and just organize so that I know where things are. And since for the most of my life I've been in a small sewing space, it's really important to keep things so you know where they're at. Now you all know that my sewing space is, my sewing studio is, it's that. It's a sewing place, but it's also where I do all my filming. So I have a permanent setup where my tripod is set up, where my camera is. I also have extra lighting back here. And sometimes I'll take it out and move it, but truly, this is what it looks like most of the time. And I am kind of a tidy person. And plus, um, the sewing studio is part of our living space, so I try and keep it as I'm sewing. I'll sometimes let the family know like, okay, it might be messy for a couple days, but over overall, I try and actually keep things nice and tidy and organized. So this is the view I get to look out. I have a beautiful lake here to look out and it's really nice. There's a beautiful tree right there. It's just very peaceful and calm while I'm doing my creating. And then of course, I've got my beautiful Bernina 790 Plus. Right now she is set up for sewing. And you know what, I thought, we talked about my chair recently. Um, this was one of the questions I, I do also get a lot is what kind of chair. I've had really nice chairs in the past but then about 10 years ago, I had a downsize and I couldn't, I literally had like this much space. So I ended up downsizing to a smaller chair and this is a new one I found, I guess when we first moved in here and it was around $80 at Home Goods. It's really nice, it's kind of like got a nice back to it. There's not a lot of cushion to it, but it helps me sit up straight, which is what's most important. Now, I do get asked a lot about my favorite notions, of course, because I am a notions junkie. And I thought I would just show you literally what is in my drawer to the right of my machine. And that would be my By Annie st uh, stiletto and pressing tool. Got my seam ripper. My favorite scissors are all right here. You can see all my favorite scissors. And I can have links in the description if you wanna see these, but of course, just like a pair of snips and then my five inch craft scissors. And these are my new favorite, the little micro tip with the big rings. These are really nice. And then I would say probably the last thing you'll see in my, my favorite notions is most definitely my bamboo point turner. I use this all the time. So those are some of my favorite notions. I even have like my most common threads that I keep right there. I keep my needles really organized. I've got my hand sewing stuff right here. I've got some of the needles that are like, this is what's in my machine right now. This one right here. And then I've got all my needles organized down here too. So big time into the organizing. I think it's really important that you know where things are. And I think I'll show you one more drawer. And that is where I keep all my pins 
and my clips, my wonder clips, and I've just recently been introduced to these little clip quick clips. And so I'm trying some new notions before I, you know, give them a whirl and share them with you. So I really hope you enjoyed this behind the scenes studio tour. This is truly where I do all my creating, my making, and this is my happy place. I think one of my favorite things about my sewing space is that when I'm sitting here sewing, I can see the family in the living room. And I don't know, maybe one day we'll have a big fancy house, but I kind of want my sewing space always to be where I can see my family. It just makes me happy. I feel like I'm a part of everything that's going on. And that's very important to me in my life. So until I see you all next time, I hope you all have a creative day. Bye-bye. If you haven't already, be sure to subscribe below. And don't forget, you can also follow me on Instagram, Pinterest, and Facebook. Have a creative day. Bye-bye.